This song is for all of the armed forces that's fighting for peace over in a foreign land fighting to preserve the peace for you and you and me too. So let's do it, Father. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Sunday blog, but it's nothing regular about what I have to say now. Because if you, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, if you're a patriot of this country, if you care at all about this country, wouldn't you be thrilled and proud and thankful and grateful that all of a sudden it looks like we're actually winning the war in Iraq, which was almost unthinkable, which was mired in all kinds of misery for so long and all the reversals that we thought were straightening out and we never straightened it out. It never got better. It always got worse. Now, even the Democrats, even the people who always disagreed with this war and always thought it was preposterous and stupid and that Bush is a fake, a fraud, a liar. They call him every abusive name you could think of anywhere in the world. Even they have to admit, and they're all admitting it, any objective person, even Katie Couric, who always in every interview tried to louse up every Democrat she ever spoke to. And she's very obviously an intense liberal, and she has a right to be. But all of a sudden, she came back from Iraq saying, we're definitely making progress, we're definitely winning, things are calm in a way, <clears throat> in a way that she never dreamed or expected before. I'm so choked up with this whole speech that I can't even control myself. <laughs> this is unbelievable. What's happening now is inconceivable that in the middle of the time that even the far left Democrats, so whoever have tried to be even a slightly objective, even if they have any the slightest degree of patriotism left in them, even they can't possibly get themselves to say that things are not getting better and we should thankful and grateful that it's all suddenly turning around. The only people who can't stand it are the ones who are up for our election. The people who are up for election, the Democrats in the, in the Congress, in the Senate and in the Congress, are so disturbed and infuriated that somehow they're depending on losing this war. The, and that's their only great defense. They have no program that they excite you about. They have, can't depend on themselves winning an election on anything that's legitimate and real. If you thought you have a real campaign issue prepared for the next campaign and you thought that you could beat your opponent, would you have to pray to God that you lose the war in order to win? Would you have to become a worse enemy of this country than the Al-Qaeda? Do you see that Harry Reid had the knife to say that Petraeus is basically a fake, a fraud, and who's going to trust him? A man who himself voted for him? To be in this position together with all the other Democrats who voted unanimously for him and they all wished him luck and they all said they have the greatest confidence in him because they have no doubt that he was the blessed hope and the greatest hope that we have because there's nobody more brilliant than Petraeus. All of a sudden Petraeus betrayed them. <laughs> they are betrayed by betrayers. They all of a sudden hate him and all of a sudden found out what's your new evidence that this man is a fake and a liar. The only fake and a liar is obviously Harry Reid and Chuck Schumer and that whole crowd who can't tolerate the thought we might win a war. And they have the goal and the determination to lose this war to already in advance say Petraeus is a fake. He's only taking orders from Bush. He and Bush are partners and lying to the American people. And what's your evidence? There is no evidence. All the evidence is exactly the opposite. They don't point to anything because they don't have anything. The only thing they have is a desperate misery about the fear that we might actually win this war. And how, what other issues do we have? We have nothing. So they became worse than the Al-Qaeda. But Latin is no misery, has no misery towards this country. No more hate, no more venom, no more determination, no more violence against us in his determination to win this war than the Democrats have. They should be partners with Bin Laden. They're on the wrong side. They should leave this country and instead of looking for Bin Laden, they should move in with him because they're his real partners. This is the most disgusting thing we ever saw and the fact that there's Democrats still who are willing to vote Democrat for these type of people, take my word for it. You're insane if you're still their partner. Either get rid of them or avoid the Democratic Party. Ah!